my conception of what it means it looks like to be Irish in contemporary terms is really kind of critical in terms of my work. And in terms of this project, it has fed into issues of identity and specifically within this context in Belfast. You know, it's something that the young people are grappling with at the minute. So looking at previous images of World War I, young people being sent off to war, and looking at contemporary images of young people involved in the conflict in Northern Ireland, it's a really kind of interesting dichotomy. I'm really intrigued with the World War I postcard photography. They served a dual purpose. You know, they were composed in a professional photography studio. It's sort of a nostalgic image that you would take before a soldier went into war. But also when soldiers were away in France or wherever in Europe, oftentimes they would go into a, a studio, have an image taken and send it back home. A lot of the symbolism in them are really ripe in terms of what I'm hoping to achieve. And that's something that I'm really interested in, in terms of layering images with potent symbolism. I have asked the young people that we're working with in this project to act as models for these photographic images and the formal qualities, the ways in which I'm going to compose the image would mimic the type of formal qualities that would have been used historically. So that's gazing off into the distance, three-quarter degree, soft focus, vignetting, those types of images and, and obviously shot in black and white. But the critical thing is that both girls and boys are going to be asked to dress up in historical items of clothing, but also wearing aspects of contemporary clothing. So you may have a young person who's pretending to be a soldier. On the top half, he's going to wear a military coat, and on the bottom half, he might have his jeans and his converse. So there's sort of a slippage in terms of historical and contemporary. A lot of my work would deal with creating this kind of historical continuum between past, present, and future.